today I am at the Salvation Army thrift store and I have a bag to donate, a bag of clothes that I'm going to donate and I will get 20% off coupon and I also have a skirt that I need to exchange. If you saw my reseller vlog then you know the whole story and if you haven't I will link it and then it will pop up here somewhere and I will also link it in the description so you can check it out. So I'm going to go on into the Salvation Army and see if I can exchange the skirt and find something else for myself and see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, 5th Avenue Vintage Co. And I'm going to be really picky because also if you saw my vlog, then you saw how much stock I already have. So I really don't need to buy anything right now, but I need to make a video and I love thrift store shopping and you never know. There might be some really great item in here that is going to make me a lot of profit. So let's go on in and see what we can find. The feather art is really nice, as is set up to 19.99. I wonder why it is as is. I might have a closer look at those and see why they are as is. Some pieces of jewelry. Those are really nice earrings with the, I think that's coral. And some Pyrex. Sadler teapot. There's a lot of Malmac, $24.99 for that whole set. That's not a bad price, considering all those pieces. But I do have quite a bit of that already listed in my shop. $19.99 for the elephant bookends, as is. I don't know why they're as is. And some bird figurines. What is that, a clarinet and a flute. I don't need any of those. Royal Dalton, those are really pretty. $34.99. Um, all right, well, I think I'm gonna have a look around at the rest of the store and maybe have a closer look in those cases later. Well, I'm over in the canisters and there's creamers and sugar bowls and salt and pepper shakers. There's some nutmeg containers, $1.99 each. They're not marked. There's a little bit of chipping on this one. And I don't really need those right now. Looking for the fantastic, spectacular pieces. And painted Holland. These are pretty. Set up to a dollar ninety-nine. These are two ninety-nine. It's a creamer. It's not marked, but likely Japan. this. Whoops. Oh, that's for tea. It's got all the elements on it. And this one is the horse. Home sweet home. That is made in Japan. Little stoneware piece that's pretty cute. And some teapots. This looks modern. There is a corningware, but I have one of those already listed, so I don't need another one right now. These all look fairly modern, I think. Well, this one's maybe a little bit older. 
not sure what that says. Germany. Made in Germany. It's nice. It's pretty plain, but it's a nice teapot. I might think about that. This one looks a little bit more modern. Hand painted by um, something Jones. I oh, don't know, that's pretty. Oh, let's keep looking. Some dishes, dinnerware. There's a bunch of Corel here. Plates are $2.99 each, and the little ones are $1.99 each. This is what I'm using right now for our dinnerware. And I am short a few pieces, but I don't know exactly how many I need or if I need the small pieces, the bowls, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna hold off on that right now. It's not a necessity. These are pretty. $2.99 for five of them. 22 karat gold. There is some cracks and a little chip on that one. I'm always attracted to anything with roses on it. This looks like... Um, yeah, it's Franciscan... Is it Fr Franciscan... Franc <laughs> Franciscan Desert Rose. It's a little, I think that's like a bone plate. That's pretty, $3.99. I'll pick that up. If I don't sell it, I can always use it out in our country home. Some cute little strawberry plates. They do have a bit of wear, I think. Who's this? Gibson, made in China. Not that old. There's some pottery rice bowls. Two for $1.99. They look like they are possibly manufactured. They don't look like they are handmade artisan pieces. And here is a whole set. What is this set? Townhouse is made in Japan. $39.99 for 46 pieces. They moved some things around. These are their serving bowls. This used to be where their glassware was, but now it's serving bowls. This is interesting. Nice wooden piece, $4.99. It's really shallow though. What would you use this for? It's not very deep. Just a decorative piece? I don't know. There's a little bit of a chip there. But that's a beautiful piece. That's really light. A pretty piece. I don't think it is that old. It is pretty though, for $3.99. A few teacups. This is pretty. $2.99 for this set. Is that Oh, set of four, and then there's a set of four little, I don't know, those little coasters? I'm not sure. I'm just trying to see what the name is on the bottom. I don't know what that says. have a closer look and see if I can figure out 
what the name on the bottom is. They don't feel like they're that old. I think it might be France, but it could be Germany. Okay, for the life of me, I cannot figure out what is on the bottom, but they feel like really nice quality glass and they're in really nice condition. So I'm gonna pick them up. So this set is $2.99 and then this set is $2.99. So, I mean, if they're nothing special, at the very least I can keep them and use them for myself. It's a really nice set, so I'm gonna grab them. All right, I am over in their knickknack area. $3.99 for this little vase. It's cute. It's in a little bit of rough shape, so I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't really need that right now. Some little porcelain made in Japan pieces. There's some chips on them though. Nice. Two onyx bookends here. $5.99 each, so that'd be $12. I do have a 20% off coupon, but I think I'm gonna pass today. I just spot at this piece, it is $4.99. And thanks to my friend Amy from Yoso Boho Rescue Treasures, I know that this is a posy. And it was made in 91 and it is stamped. It's quite a nice large size, so I'm gonna pick this one up. All right, we've got some just random items here, some signs, a little house, a little coffee shop, party light, and I don't know what these are. These look like hamster balls, but I don't think they are. They've got, I don't know, is that a candle or some sort of light inside? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you know what these are. They look like hamster balls to me. They're not that old. They have a, a website on them. I don't feel like looking at it to figure out who makes those. Because I'm not going to buy them anyways. Those are more kind of modern. Not old. Made to look old with this fake crazing. There's a little painting, original. It's kind of pretty. May 30th, 1987. Thought it was older than that. The frame, the back of the frame looks older, but the front does not. The painting is really nice. I don't see, well, maybe it is signed there, but $3. It's a nice original. Painting, I think it is acrylic. I think. <laughs> so I'll pick that up. I am over in the vases and I'm not really seeing anything here that is that old or amazing. A lot of clear glass. a pink kind of looks like cased glass but I can just tell it's not a really great quality piece it's a pretty color though raspberry there's a Cuba souvenir vase for $3.99 this looks modern Oh, I don't know. What is that? Mm, maybe not. Oh, it says decorative. 
decorative something. So, yeah, I think it is just a modern piece. Candlesticks. They are not that old. And somebody left their shopping cart right in the middle of the aisle here. Changed their mind, I guess. That is party late. Made in China. Mm, nothing too special, I don't think. Almost kind of looks like glass from Finland. It's not marked or anything though, so I don't think it is. I think it would be marked. I think that says Costa Rica. It's pretty, it's got a butterfly design on it, but there's some pieces missing. Some inlay pieces missing. I think, oh, here's another one. Yeah, it's definitely not glass from Finland. This kind of looks like it. I don't think I see anything here. Yeah, so I'm gonna move along. Well, this is kind of their color coordinated area. And it used to be in a different area of the store, so. That's kind of an interesting ashtray. It's purple. I wonder if it is that, I think, is it called magnesium glass where it turns purple in the sun? It's super heavy and they want $9.99 for it. This looks very 1980s, early 90s maybe. The, the clown, is that a clown? It's not a true clown. I don't know, I think they're, I think it's a clown. I could be wrong. It's a pretty little blue turquoise vase with a chip on it though. Made in Italy. That's a hobbyist piece. Five pieces for $9.99. Really light. Really, really light brass. Well, I think it's copper actually. Super light though. Okay, well, I don't see anything here. There's a very large corn on the cob, USA. That is likely made in Sequoia, Sequoia ware, possibly. Not treasure craft, I don't think. And that is a big P. <laughs> $2.99 each. But I don't think we need those. So I just spotted these four shot glasses and they've got a different bird on each one with silver rim and they're all in really nice condition. They're 99 cents each. So I'm gonna pick these up as well. We are now getting closer to Afghan season, so that's kind of nice. Very retro, sort of a 70s color combination and chevron pattern, $7.99. I might open it up and see if it's in good condition. It's not. I mean, it feels okay, but not ideal. There's a blue one. It's a wool blanket. $20 for that one. And what is this? Embroidered. Is that called embroidery when it's cross 
stitched like that, or is that cross stitch? Needlepoint? No, it's not needlepoint. I don't know if this is actually handmade or not. And stitched? I think it is. I don't think that's miss. Oh, maybe it is machine. I don't know. Six ninety nine. I don't know. I'll think about that one. I think I'm probably going to pass on it. Let's see if there's any vintage pillowcases here. I haven't found any really nice vintage pillowcases for a while. These are kind of nice. Flannel. That one is vintage. There's a set. Let's have a look. It's just kind of a simple daisy pattern, but there's a stain there, so we will leave it. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything in the pillowcases. We'll see if there's any vintage towels here. This one is vintage. $3.99. These are all vintage. They kind of have a lot of wear. And if I was buying them for myself, I would be okay with that, but I really don't need any for myself right now. I have quite a large amount. <laughs> So I'm looking through the shorts, even though summer is almost over. When I cleaned out my closet and my drawers, I had barely any shorts. So I wanna see if I can find maybe a pair of shorts. If not, I will look for a skirt. But I would like to find some shorts. Love Tree Denim. Not a name brand or anything, but I like that they're high waisted and they're not super, super short. <laughs> so these are $5.99. All right, I gotta start over because I was rudely interrupted by Wendell, who happened to just be in the store. <laughs> He had some time in between jobs, so he stopped in. So, yeah, what I was saying is these are high-waisted, which I like. They're not too short. And the change rooms are closed, so hopefully they fit. <laughs> if not, I'll be exchanging these as well. I don't understand the whole closing of the change rooms. I understand why they did it there for this for a little while, but I think now we could probably open them up. Let's see if there's any, what are these, capris? I only have a few pairs of capris. I don't know, there's a big kind of hot mess here, so. Yeah, I don't know if I really feel like looking through all this. That looks like a vintage skirt. All right, well, I am going to check out and I will see you in the car with the total. Well, it rained while I was inside and that is twice today that it has rained and I missed the rain. I was inside and just missed it. So that's awesome. I didn't get wet both times. <laughs> so my total was $18.32 and that is everything for today. I am now going to go get myself something to eat because I am starving. I haven't eaten since breakfast this morning and it is now supper time, dinner time, whatever you want to call it. What do you call it? Do you call it supper or dinner? Or do you call dinner, dinner or lunch? 
I don't know. I use them all, all over the place. I never know. Sometimes it's dinner. Sometimes it's lunch. Sometimes it's supper. Sometimes it's dinner. Anyways, I'm going to go grab something to eat. I'm starving. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was that I picked up today or what I left behind that you would have scooped up. And that's everything for today. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Until next time. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> I messed that up. Anyways, uh, till next time. Bye-bye.